Beijing, 3rd July. As the Club of Developing Countries considers further growth to challenge a Western-dominated international order it views as antiquated, Chinese state media reported on Wednesday that President Xi Jinping of China stated he supports Kazakhstan joining the BRICS bloc. After meeting with Kazakh President Kasim Jomart Tokayev in the capital of the Central Asian state, Xi endorsed Astana's accession and urged Kazakhstan to play the role of a middle power on the international stage and make its due contribution to global governance. In an effort to challenge Western economic dominance, China and Russia are pushing for the BRICS grouping, which also includes Brazil, India, and South Africa, to be expanded. At first, an acronym was created established in 2001 by Jim O'Neill, the chief economist at Goldman Sachs. The bloc began as an unofficial group of four countries in 2009, and South Africa joined a year later. Saudi Arabia, Iran, Ethiopia, Egypt, and the United Arab Emirates decided to join the BRICS group in August. Saudi Arabia has not joined the group yet though, Although President Javier Milley of Argentina withdrew the nation shortly after assuming office in December, the government had intended to join BRICS. From July 3 to 4, Tsai is in Kazakhstan for the Shanghai Cooperation Organization's Heads of State meeting. The article also stated that during his discussion with Tokayev, China and Kazakhstan decided to intensify cooperation in oil and gas exploration, extraction, and processing, as well as to double their two-way trade as soon as feasible. According to United Nations Skill and TRAD data, the majority of Kazakhstan's exports to China in the previous year were crude oil and petroleum gases, with outbound shipments to the world's second-largest economy valued at $3.8 billion and $1.5 billion, respectively. According to the report, Exai and Tokayev thus decided to take action to guarantee the long-term secure and uninterrupted functioning of the natural gas pipeline connecting Turkmenistan and China's Xinjiang region to Kazakhstan, as well as the crude oil pipeline connecting their respective nations, along with pledging to increase collaboration in clean energy, which includes nuclear, solar, and wind power. The two presidents also agreed to have Chinese businesses assist in modernizing Kazakhstan's power plants and energy grid. Chinese businesses have made $9.5 billion in Kazakhstan investments since nearly all of them have been in the state's nuclear or petroleum industries, according to data from the American Enterprise Institute think tank, where Xi originally unveiled his flagship Belt and Road Initiative during a state visit in 2013. At a press conference after meeting with Kazakh President Kasim Jomart Tokayev, Haxi stated, China supports Kazakhstan's entrance to BRICS and supports Kazakhstan as one of the world's middle powers with its rising role and potential to make a worthy contribution to world affairs and global governance. Before we go any further, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you found this interesting and would like to see more content like it. Now let us move forward. China plans to intensify collaboration within multilateral institutions in order to maintain its strong relationship with Kazakhstan on international matters alliances as China Central Asia, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCO, and the United Nations, he stated. Together, we shall bring global development, global security, and global civilizational efforts to fruition. We shall advocate for an equitable and well-structured multipolar global system, as well as inclusive and widely available economic globalization. Together, we will defend the shared interests of our nations and the entire developing globe, Xi declared. According to Xi, the SCO was founded by China and Kazakhstan, and he highlighted the significant contribution of the Kazakh SCO presidency to fostering original cooperation and developing the SCO's activities. He declared, there is no doubt that today's Astana Summit will be a huge success and will elevate the work of our organization to a new level. Everyone acknowledges that, at the same time as they are on the modernization road, China and Kazakhstan are passing through phases of national development and revival. We will continue to build political mutual trust, expand the current custom of mutual assistance, and help the national development plans be cohesive," Tsai declared. Tsai stated that he and Tokayev signed a joint statement between the two nations, stating that their discussions have been cordial, polite, and productive. According to Exai, Tokayev, and he both believe that China and Kazakhstan are currently going through a crucial period of development and rebirth. The two parties will uphold the noble custom of mutual assistance, strengthen political mutual confidence, encourage the synchronization of development tactics, and serve as dependable and trustworthy allies. Mutually, Kaxi stated, China and Kazakhstan have set a new objective according to Kaxi, to double two-way trade as soon as possible. According to Kexa, the two parties have decided to consistently expand their cooperation in well-known areas like the economy, commerce, investment, production capacity, interconnection, and energy. According to Kexa, the two parties will also work together to develop new areas of cooperation in the following areas. Digital economy, aerospace, essential minerals, new energy, and scientific and technological innovation. According to Kexa, Kazakhstan will host China Tourism Year for the Chinese people in 2025. He stated that the Chinese side has also chosen to open the second Lubin workshop in the nation of Central Asia and that the two sides would increase cooperation in domains including media, 
think tanks, cinema, and television, and promote greater sisterhood between the two nations, cities, and regions. Xi stated that the three major projects put out by China, the Global Development Initiative, the Global Security Initiative, and the Global Civilization Initiative will be implemented together by China and Kazakhstan. According to him, the two parties have agreed to keep up their close collaboration on international issues and to improve coordination within the frameworks of the UN, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, the China Central Asia Mechanism, and other multilateral organizations. According to Kexui, China supports Kazakhstan's entry into the BRICS Cooperation Mechanism, acting as a middle power in international affairs and contributing appropriately to global governance. What are your thoughts on China's actions in Kazakhstan? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.